Hi everyone, it's Toria and first things first, if you hear a loud noise, it's most likely the fan because it's really hot in this apartment and I need some air. I know I need a quieter fan and that is to come. But it could also be the dishwasher because, you know, I gotta be, um, like, using the space I have and doing what I gotta do before I head out for my day. So, let's just get started. The very first video that I have for you today is a basic of how do I, how did I learn to do my top liner because I know a lot of girls don't do top eyeliner or wing their eyeliner or whatnot just because they don't know, they're like, they don't know how to do the top liner. So this is basically how I did mine for so many years and now that I know my eye shape pretty much like, you know, I can just freehand it basically. But first things first, I have to do a disclaimer for this video. I am by no means a professional makeup artist. I am a makeup enthusiast and so, you know, it could be all wrong. But to me, it's right, and if you like it, then yay. If you don't, then I apologize, not really, because this is just what I do. And so, yeah, let's just get started. So, first things first, I take my primer. I do have a big mirror because without my glasses, I'm blind. Let's just get that over with. So, I do have a big mirror in my hand. It looks like that. And yeah, it's just so I could see my face. I'm gonna put it like right here because I think this is a good spot, right? You could see. So I just go ahead and put this all over my eyelid and really all over my eyes. Don't pay attention to my eyebrows because they need to get done on Wednesday. And so, that's that. I'm also gonna like refill in my eyebrows a little. <clears throat> I like the fan is making me lose my voice. Okay, so now that I have it all on, I'm just gonna like rub it into my eyes. Make sure it's all rubbed in. And then, so after this, let me know in the comments. I don't wanna go out of the camera frame. I did this video yesterday but I noticed that I was like this the whole time not cute so just rub it all into your eyes just like that okay and then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay 24 7 um, this is the 24 7 glide on eye pencil this is my absolute favorite eye pencil it's not really that sharpened as you can see normally it'd be really sharp but I could use it this okay so then you just take it and you go along your lash line from the center okay, falling off the cap and then you just go from the center and then you go all the way into the corner And then you just go out. And from the outer corner of your eye, just come up a little. And that's that. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is just the guideline to your um, to your liquid liner. That's not cute. Not cute. That'll come off. Okay. <clears throat> I hope that you guys seen that. We'll go ahead with the other eye now. Go from the center and then slowly work yourself into the corner. Okay, and then from the outer corner, just go up. This pencil should really be sharpened. Sharpen your pencils. I just, the sharpener is like way over there, out of my reach, so. 
So that's the guideline that I have, if you guys could see. It's not perfect by any means. Okay, and then we're gonna take this Morphe brush. It is, does it have a name on it? Morphe B14 right here. It's just an oversized shadow brush. I love this brush. And we're gonna take my Z palette and we're gonna go ahead and go with, we'll go with the Morphe eyeshadow right here. It's called Deep Skin. And it's this center one right here. Did I, I'm like messing up my eyeshadows. Okay. So that's that. It's on there. Give it a little blow. And then we're going to just go all over the lid. And it's okay if it goes over the pencil liner just because you're going to go over that with liquid anyways. So all over the lid and if you want to put more, put more. I do go above the crease just a little. Just I'm going to do the crease anyways but yeah. So let's just say you take your like neutral color, your neutral medium color, and you could go like all over the eye with it. So a little bit, I'm gonna do a little bit more. And then go up and up. Something about like a neutral lid and like a bold lip or like a red lip just ugh, it sparks my interest okay so now i'm going to take a little bit more and go to the other side let's switch hands because i'm a lefty And I'm gonna take it one more time just because I feel like I need to. Oh, that's the wrong color. Wrong color. Do you guys smile like that? I smile with my eyes shut. Maybe it's because of my big cheeks. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, and so that's what the natural, just a natural color all over your eye looks like. And then I'm going to take another Morphe brush, and it is the B81, and it looks like this. It's like a tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go with, um, I think it's Soft Skin, Soft Skin by MAC, or Soft Brown by MAC, I think it is. So to get it all over my brush, give it a little blow, and I'm just gonna go like in and above the crease with it. It's pretty similar to the color, but it's you know a little different enough to make a difference. And then in circular motion, blend it in and blend it out. Blend, blend it out. It's a little bit on the pinker side, it looks like, huh? I wonder if I had pink on the brush and did it clean the brush. <clears throat> so that's what I have. This fan, you know, I wish it wasn't so hot because it's like going into my throat. Okay, so I'm gonna take it again. Some more of the soft brown. You know, I really should mark the, the colors down on my Macs because they come off when you take them out the package. Into the crease, a bunch. 
and then in circular motion blend it in blend it out a little bit in the corner so this is I, I it looks kind of cray cray right now I get it but when I'm done with my makeup it doesn't look that bad okay so now we're gonna go ahead and do some highlighter and I'm gonna show you the highlighter that I use because I just love this highlighter on my face and on my eyes and I don't have it in here so this oh I found it it is the benefit um, what's up what's up and it came like this if you get I think it was birch box or ipsy we got these last month and I just put it underneath my eyebrow the whole eyebrow and in the corner of my eyes I hope you've seen that and then because it's so bright right now I just take a little brush this is the Morphe B42 it's very little and I just kind of like brush it out blend it into the skin a little rub it in to the skin okay now it's time for the reason you guys are all here the liquid liner this is the bombs swing liner it's their black eyeliner it's one of the best I love this eyeliner and here we go so we already have our guideline on our eyes right so we're just gonna take this and start from the center And just cover your guideline. And then when it comes to the end, just go up from the corner as high as you want your wing and paint it back. And that's basically how I learned how to do my top liner. And so now we'll do the other eye. Get it in there. Get some on your brush. And then take your guy line. Ah. So I messed up, which normally happens okay so as you could tell I have a little bit on my eyelid messed up I take my finger and I just rub it off comes right off and then I dry it let that part dry and then you just take your brush again so you can take your your blending brush because you don't want that big fat brush you know and take your eyeshadow that's on your eye it's the morphe one right here just take a little on the tip <clears throat> and just go over it one more time and that is it it could still be corrected a little bit more, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to take mascara because mascara is very important to get your eyes like popping. Popping. So I'm going to use the Ico 
London brand and it's the fat brush mascara it's a little that's what it looks like it's a fat brush I'll show you the brush that's what it looks like it's so pretty and then I just go over all I guess this is more of like a basic look for your eyes you know how to how to learn how to do the basics or learn how to do the basics sounds better and then I just cover all of the lashes in the first one and we twist your brush a little and pull up and then I dip it again and then I go uh, again, but I press a little bit harder. And I use my eyelids and I close them to get more. And then I just hit the tips. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now the other eye. So remember, we're gonna cover all of the lashes, just lightly stroking all of them. And then twist your brush a little and pull upwards. Okay. And then dip again. When not dip you dip you dip. And then we push a little harder. <clears throat> this fan. This fan. And wiggle your brush a little. And then hit the tips. And there you go. Okay. So now we're going to go for C eyebrows. And I'm going to be taking this product from Ardell. It is the Ardell Dark Brown. It's like their eyebrow has a spoolie here and the eyebrow pencil here. And the pencil itself always gets a little bit of crumbs. You see that? It always gets a little bit crumbs, but I just take it off on my own hand. Okay, so the, the pencil itself is kind of like slanted, which I really like. I hadn't seen that on any other eye pencil or eyebrow pencil. And then, okay, so when I do my eyebrows, I always use a finger and like keep my, move the mirror a little, and keep a finger on my face. And I just start from the in the bottom center point and then uh, do the bottom first. And then you go for the top. Hopefully you guys can see this and I'm not like out of frame. And then I kind of just fill in this front part of the center. And then I fill in the whole eyebrow. And then turn your pencil around. And then on the corner, I just kind of take it, make sure it's at a point up here at an arch. And then that's about it. You can make them as dark or as light as you want. That's about it. Okay, so let's do the other side. Okay, so I'm going in, can you see? From the bottom first. And then the top. And this is where I make this one just a little bit thicker to match the other one. See right there? Come down. And then do this part in the front. 
Don't worry about if it goes over your natural line. I'll show you why. And then just fill this in. Okay. So now that we have it like that, I got watery. Now that we have it like that, and you see how this one comes out just a little, <clears throat> I take my finger and I just push up, push up, push up, wipe away the excess. Like I said, this might not be politi politically correct, but it works for me. And if it helps anyone else like get into the love of makeup, you're welcome. So that's that right there. Those are the eyebrows. But then you're going to take the spoolie brush and you're going to hold it like flat against here and you're just going to push along the front. So the spoolie flat against your eyebrow and then you're going to turn it like to the side and push, pull down. So flat and pull down. Flat. and pull down. Now normally what I would do if I wanted them like really dark I would fill it in with like eyebrow powder too and yeah that's what I would do. So this is just like the how to of how I do my my eye makeup. It's um I think it's really easy really simple. It didn't take me that long. I think it's like <clears throat> without all the talking and chit chat that I'm doing like it probably really only takes me 10 minutes to do my eyes and then another like 15 to, or like 10 15 to do the rest of my face so I think it's really easy I am gonna do a whole face tutorial uh, pretty soon I just wanted to get this one out because it is really easy to do eye makeup like really really simple you know and there are like simple steps that you could take to learn like the shape of your eyes and stuff like the guideline you know just going across with a pencil and then a liquid pencil and you don't have to do everything in one swipe you know build it build it across and pretty soon you'll just get it don't be afraid of hiccups look at this hiccup here like you know don't be afraid of them like they're correctable everything is correctable and if not then you just do it again and you know learning is the best way to grow and no one's perfect at all no one at all um but yeah that's all i have for you today i hope you guys really enjoyed this don't forget to hit like and subscribe and come follow me on twitter and instagram and yeah i love you guys so much ta-ta for now bye